Okay, guys, I'm going to show you how to analyze this market. So it's NAS 100, US 30, and gold. So I started on the weekly. So looking at the structure, let me remove the drawings and start off. So firstly, I recognize structure. The market is in a downtrend. Downtrend, that's what it looks like, right? It's a downtrend, but then I also see something here which appears to be a, something I would call a double bottom. W, some of you would call it. And then here is something called a neckline of that W pattern, because as you know, if it's a W pattern, it's a W, and then breaks out of this neckline, which is, which is the previous structure, and then will retest that very same structure and then go up, okay? Which in this case had already happened, it's going up. So technically, we will look at if this is the neckline, then the market has to go to another structure. Where's the structure? This high right here. We we'll mark this structure. After marking this structure, we have to look that is it is this structure even even going to hold? So there is this structure. Let's check if this structure aligns with something else. This here is a touch. And here we have a weak. It went down here in this level and went up. And then there is some action here. And then there is some action here. So this level could be strong. It could hold. So understand. So the market, after testing the neckline, it could be going up there. As you can see, it hasn't reached that level. So let's see if the daily agrees. The daily time frame I still agrees with that movement that are we really going to that level? Are we going to hold? So we're going to come here and look at structure. So first of all, this is a W, w pattern. This is a neckline. This is the retest, as you can see, we've seen from the weekly, and now it's going up, which, which you can see the perfect rejection happen right here. So now we want to look at structure from the daily. Structure from the daily looks very bullish. Higher high, higher low. Higher high, higher low. High, and there we go right there. So what we need right now is to know where we are in terms of support and resistance. This is the retest of this previous structure, higher, 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 high. Right, right? The previous retest, it already retested, it went up. So now we need to look at um, this market where it's currently at. So on the weekly, we can see the structure really played out. Now let's go down to the four hour because we need to tackle this from high to low to understand the structure better. So you understand. So in this case, we look at the market. Here's our support. You remember it? Those who use trend lines, I also use trend lines as extra confirmations, but I don't rely on them fully. So here's our trend line. This is technically a pattern, understand? A pattern, and then we could put it like this. And when we put it like this, you know this pattern, it's a continuation pattern, a bullish continuation pattern, which really played out. If you had caught the market here, you would have gone up with it. And uh, for those who trade who know Elliott Wave, will know this is a one, two, three, four, five, A, B, C. So it's basically impulse correction. This is what, exactly what is happening here, what has already happened. So let's go down to a lower time frame again because the market is still looking bullish. Bullish. Let's go down to the two hour and see if the structure can get clearer for us to analyze. Stay. Now, as you can see, another pattern again, as you would call it, a continuation pattern had already happened. You understand? And then here's another. It's better to start from the end, going this side. Now. You hear me, I'm talking about Elliott waves and um, and patterns and structures, continuation patterns. If you don't know what those are, leave a comment and let me know if you should do a video about that. Anyway, so this is the structure again. This is a continuation pattern for those who know. And now the market clearly, clearly went down to retest a level. Where is that level? Here is that level right here that is being retested which is this previous structure, there's touches here. If you keep going, we'll see that uh, they will have more touches, which is here, and even here, and this one counts, but then it doesn't, let's not count it because it didn't really touch. There's also one here. So this was a good level, understand? If you saw it, you would have caught it. 
So anyway, let's look at what is currently happening. What is currently happening to our still saying bullish. So bullish, what could really happen right here? We need, we can't just go and say, okay, this is bullish. Let's place buy trades right here. You understand? Let's place buy trades right here and say, let's put our T curve there. And then your stop loss would have to be below this structure right here like this. That's if you you, you are okay with trading like this, which is a, a one to three percent. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with this, but I'm just saying this is not how I trade. So what I need is a retest. Structure which is here, like this. If you can retest this structure, which is something that is already happening. So let's go down to the one hour or the 30 minutes. So let's go down to the 30 minutes because we need to see lower time frame candles. Now, understanding this, yeah. what we can do is look at structure. This is the this is the structure. This is the structure. We understand the market could just buy from here because this is US 30. I personally would do it like this. If I get any kind of rejection from this level, I would buy and the stop loss would be somewhere in here. And my T profit, which is gonna go all the way up there. Stop loss somewhere in here, giving me a one to 10. But then I wouldn't recommend trading like this because it is, it's a risk entry. The market could go a bit lower which I would recommend the most is your stop loss going below here, like this, below the structure right here, and going to the one hour, the structure right there, you see, right below it, because it could go down. This is something, it is also called an order block right here in trading. So the market could go back to respect that order block and before going up, but it's still not bad because it is still a four person game in this trade. Should you get this? So this is what I will be looking at the market. I will be looking for rejections on this level, a good solid rejection. If I don't get a good rejection in Kenji State patterns, I will go down to this level right here and wait for it to do, to retest. Okay, I had to pause the video a little bit, but you wouldn't notice I was away in here. So this is uh, NAS100. That's the target. The target could be somewhere 13,580 or 13,600, 13,600, somewhere there. So the entry could be here or somewhere there. But you know what? I am more confident that it could be somewhere in here. You understand? Because yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know your stage is something like that. So be careful of both levels when you're trading. Now let's go to US thirty. US thirty, we all know it moves almost similarly to NAS one hundred. So basically, the moves could be similar. So let's make a quick analysis just to show you. It's similar, but then the volatility will never be the same because sometimes one could consolidate and one can be impulsive. So as you can see from structure, a downtrend. That's what it looks like. Lower low structure was broken here. Unlike the other one on the other side, this one, other one created a double bottom you saw, but then this one broke structure. A double bottom is a signal of reversal, and then a break of structure is a signal of a possible reversal, but then as soon as after a break, out, a break of structure follows, a, a, a retracement will always follow. So that's what we have here. So what we're going to do, we're going to analyze where the retracement ended, which is here. The retracement ended here, which by a week. So let's, weeks, not weeks, week. You see, if we adjust it to the near close, we see there's a touch here on this red candle, mm -hmm. which is a rejection. There's a touch here. There's also something here. So what you're going to do is mark out the high of this one, which we need our, why we're making out the highs because we want them because we want to be out like in a few days. I'm a swing trader, so I want to be out in a few three in a few days. Even if it's a day trader, you need this to know that way you could possibly mark out your target because these trades could take up uh, 
more than 24 hours, one day or so or so. Even if you're looking to scalp, you can use this kind of strategy, but you can keep going further down analyzing. But in my case, I'm analyzing all the way up to the one hour or 30 minutes or sometimes 15 minutes for entries, not analyzing. And only 15 minutes and 30 minutes for entries, not analyzing. To understand but you can analyze going all the way down there if you are a scalper or a day trader and in my case right now we're going to look at this the structure here you understand this structure if we put if we put it like that this structure this is structure right here and uh you see here here and there so if we move a bit high like this even if you don't move there's a rejection over there, which we are going to see shortly in the daily if we move lower to the daily. So when we go to the daily time frame, we're going to be looking at structure. There's a rejection right there. That's cool. Normally, normally I would put it like this. Honestly, that's my honest way of putting it, which I am actually going to stick with. So you understand? And then... This one, I'm going to have to not put my target on the rejection. I'm going to have to put my target on the week, week's close. If I look on the sides, of which I should have put somewhere here, understand, like this. As we go lower to the time frames, we adjust, you understand? We adjust to levels, to more suitable levels to avoid having seen the market go our way and then going against us after, shortly after. So now that the adjusted level ended up touching this structure right here. So what we're going to do, which is perfect because it touches here, it touches here, it touches here, rejections, we can see the rejections, but they don't signal a reversal, they signal a retracement, which is something we want to see. But then this retracement didn't reach all the way to this structure of which we should adjust to this week because it could be our potential target. So what we need to be looking at is recognizing this structure as a level, you said. So we mark out this level like this. This is our level of interest, you understand? Now, remember, on NAS I said NASDAQ and USD to move the same way, but then I need to put something out of the way clear. On NASDAQ, I said what? We're going to receive a little bit of a short retracement, a little bit more further down, and then we're going to get a what? An impulse going up. We're looking for buys on NASDAQ. We're waiting for that retracement. As a scalper, no, let, let me not get into detail with that. Now let's focus on this one. In US 30, what does it look like? I see it can come. I marked out this area because it didn't get really tested. You understand? And it broke structure. It created a higher high lower high a higher high and then broke that structure which is here you understand it broke that structure and then went up this does not necessarily mean this market is gonna keep going up in my experience so let's go down to the four hour and let me explain a bit further what is really happening here and why we need to be careful of this you understand here we have a structure broken in a bullish moment we have a bearish structure broken what could this mean this could mean the market is creating room for something like this so let me put it like this as you can see there's a touch here there is also a touch here it doesn't necessarily touch but that doesn't necessarily mean anything there's a touch here there's an action here not a touch there is a rejection here there is action here there is action here and there is action here and now the market seems to have rejected. You understand? On Friday. So what could possibly be happening? Simple. The market could be doing something like, remember when I said buy on, on NASDAQ? The market, here I'm telling you to sell. I'm going to explain to you. I know it's confusing. You're going to be wondering why are we selling US data about buying NASDAQ? They are the same, right? Yes, they are the same. But here's another thing. They are not, like I said, they are not always both having the same volatility. Now you saw how short that movement on NASDAQ was. It is just a little movement down 
to get our buys. But then this one is a big move. So many peeps here. You understand? So what it could do, Nasdaq could end up, let me just go back to Nasdaq and show you so that you can understand what's really going on in the correlation and how I know that something interesting could happen. Now, this just confirms the field of mind that this market could be possibly entering a deeper retracement than this level. You understand? Like I said, the market could actually come down here. Now, look how small this movement is. Why are we not selling this one? We're selling this data that side. The market is also going down, but there isn't much peeps here to be collected. So what NASDAQ could be doing is moving slowly, consolidating, 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 and then eventually going up. This move could take a day. Maybe our entry buy for NASDAQ could happen maybe on the next day, like on Tuesday which is where I'm from. I don't know where the trading day begins on your country. I'm, I'm in South Africa, so my trading day begins at exactly 12 a.m. on Monday. So exactly on the first hour of Monday, 12 a.m. So you understand, while this could be doing this, so on US 30, we could witness something different. We could not be witnessing um, a tracement due to the according to our technical analysis. So you understand why I would be buying this? Why I would be buying this? Now, this is the reason I'm going to show you. So you understand? The market could like um, sell from here. When selling from here, instead of unlike NASDAQ, it won't be moving in consolidation. It's just going to impulse, impulse down, and then come up here, maybe even with lower, and then, start to create some little bit of structure and then give us some signal that you could be interested in. Then buying, that's when the brother that side, NASDAQ, they will start to do what? Move together, impulsing both upwards. So you understand, some people like to look at both and say, hey, this one is not making sense to that one, that one, hey, hey I need to be looking to a closer entry to, to this one. And they will be marking out levels like this one and say, look, it's a structure. It's a touch there. It's a touch there. It's a touch there. It's a touch there. Maybe even like this. It's a touch here. It's a touch here. It's a touch here. They wait for the market to come down here. And then they will buy from here. They can select it. And then they will buy from here. And buy from here. And whatever they take profit is. That's exactly what the market makers want you to do. This is a trap. This is too perfect. Do you really think the market is going to touch here so perfectly? Go down, come back, retest so perfectly. Go down, come back, retest so perfectly. It will really retest it. Here is it. If it comes back to this level, it might be seen as a low. Entering here is not so bad. But then I know, I know US state, you understand? And the tricks of US state. This is too perfect. Like it's a brick of structure. It's going to like come back and retest this level and then continue going up. I don't think so. This is just too perfect. This is too suspiciously too perfect. I'm expecting the market to like drop down and then continue going up. If I'm wrong, if I'm wrong, which is a possibility because I'm I can't be always right. You understand? The market can just come back and retest this structure. Retest structure right here. Retest breakout. Retest here and then we buy and then we go up. That's your state. It's also possible. But then I am more, I am more, more, more convinced that the market will go, will shoot down because this does not look like an impulse to me. This looks like a little bit of how, how do I know? This this impulse is a little bit too weak for me to be the actual move, the actual reversal to go back up. You understand because this is a little bit too perfect, and the trend line traders they already have their trend lines like this. They entered on this breakout and stuff, so you understand on this breakout, they entered on the breakout or on the retest like this. And this is just too perfect, you understand. As a day trader, if you're a day trader, you would have put your trend line like this structure, structure, bought here, got out here. This was a clean entry and exit. This was good for you, you understand. But then this is a little bit too suspiciously, is a little bit suspiciously too perfect for me.
you understand or no not that one this one so you understand i am more convinced that the market that the market at this point we are selling i am convinced that this is a sell before the impulse taking out a bunch of stop losses understand this is suspiciously too perfect for me i will not lie to you so so let me just take a screenshot of this understand i am going to post it Probably not going to post it immediately. Maybe after the movie is already done because I don't want to, you know. Yeah, I'm going to post it. I mean, on my on my Instagram, which is real brave. And I'll put the link. In, uh, not the link. The username in the description to my Instagram. So let's go to gold real quick. So that's my view. I hope you understand the difference on the fundamentals, I mean, not the fundamentals, I won't say fundamentals, only technicals of US state and NASDAQ and it's possible movement because if you look at it fundamental, you will also sometimes see that the top 20 or 30 or 50, uh, the New York Stock Exchange companies, they might be bullish while the rest, the other 70, not 70, more than 70, but let's just say the other 70 below them are like bearish. Those are like affecting. So I have to end this video real quick. So I'm going to start on the weekly, which is this one right here, right? So when we start from the weekly, we look at stuff like um, this is a triple top. This could be a place where the market could be dropping from. Understand? First of all, this could be a market where the market could be dropping. Okay? We're going to need to be careful of that. But then, if we look at this structure, this looks like a bullish and this looks like an A, B, C. Basically a correction. Again, if you want me to teach the LO wave, I will teach it. Please just comment. Let me know. I have a lot of things I can teach you guys. So if we go down to the daily, let's go down to the daily real quick. Daily, 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 daily time frame. So on the daily time frame, on the daily time frame, this is the structure right here, right? And then from here, we look at the, this is a double bottom, which I will show you, double bottom, right? A neckline broke out, retested, perfect, went up, did its thing. In my opinion, this would have been the target. Enter here, get out here. If I was trading the daily, but I don't trade the daily. I'm a swing trader, but I'm not that deep. The market now is at the high and it seems to have rejected. Now, what could the market be doing? If it's bullish, we could see the market come down to this area and then pushing up again. But then, Let's go down to the four hour and see more stretch again, because we need to mark out the level to be in between the levels. And then we have something like this, this stretch again, because it's a stretch, it's a stretch, it's a stretch, it's a stretch, and now it's here. So you understand the market, despite the triple top, I am still convinced the market is still bullish. So what I will do is mark out this level like this, and then have this highlighted, and go down to the one hour, and go down to the one hour. So I removed the drawing here. It had an entry for like right here, somewhere in here. Stop loss somewhere in here from Friday, right? before the market closed, and this was the target. I, I have the screenshot, I'll also post it on my Instagram after this move, I'll post the before and after of the screenshot from somewhere here going up. 
So this is you, this is gold, basically. We are done with gold. If I'm wrong, this could just go back down, hit my stop loss, no adjusting, no break even, no, no, no other than because the market could be looking to create a double bottom like this and then go up. You understand? That's why no adjusting of stop losses. But if it does continue going and hit my stop loss, maybe somewhere in here, I'll be waiting for a little bit of a, something like a rejection, which is a rejection and then sell to this area. And then I will sell from here. Unless if the structure changes, unless if the structure is going to change, I am going to be continuing with this kind of view on the market. I'm going to be have my mind focused if the market changes, I'm also going to change my perspective. I'm not saying everything is going to play out perfectly as how I'm analyzing right now to the current markets because structures change and then my views also will change, which is why you will need to be careful when trading these things. Understand? You have to trade based off that current structure. But feel free to also message me on my Instagram and ask me how is this we can have, we can chat the name of the my Instagram account, this is it, real raving. It's spelled like that right here. You can see it right here. This is that account right there. So message me on Instagram. We can talk. Uh, yeah, and also follow me on that Instagram and then like the video if you like what I'm sharing here. I would appreciate it just like the video. And even subscribe if you want to see more. Comment on the stuff I was telling you about if you want to see something. Until then, good luck with your week. May the market be with you. And catch more peeps.